morning. Today, we are going to George Washington National Forest. We'll do a little uh, primitive camping up there, me and, me and my dog, Copper. So, let's get going. So as you can probably tell, I'm in a storage unit right now. I'm uh, waiting to move it into a uh, more permanent place on, uh, it's a giant RV lot where I can store it. But for now it's in a, in a storage unit until the RV lot opens up. So let's get going. That's a pretty nifty little anti-rattle hitch that I got. It's a bolt, and then you just put a nut in a plastic casing inside of your hitch, and then you just tighten it up, and it keeps everything from rattling. You do have to pay attention though, because unfortunately the uh, spring washer, lock washer, whatever you want to call it, it's not the best and after a couple days of hauling of towing it does tend to uh, come loose so start to rattle after a little bit so that's uh, it'll uh, it'll let you know when it's not tight anymore you'll hear it the other cool thing about the getaway model, turtleback getaway, uh, is that super light. So if you don't feel like backing up, you can just squat it right into position. Oh, one thing you'd never want to forget, I'm, I'm going to admit, I did forget this one time. Put this all the way up. Don't start driving away.
Okay, last thing to check is uh, do a walk around. Make sure your safety pin's good. I'm not bringing the high lift, I shouldn't need it. Um, I'm not driving anywhere crazy, it's just dirt roads out to my camp spot. So, everything else is latched down, tied down pretty good. Okay, well, let's go on a camping trip. Puppy. He's a dude. He just, it's just the easiest way to tell his towels from everyone else's is that they're pink. Hey, puppy. Copper, come here, buddy. What's up? You ready to go camping? You ready to go camping? Yeah. All right, let's get going. Who would have thought I'd have more trouble back or pulling it out than backing it in? Because I'm struggling right now. I'm like stuck. Holy shit, I did it. That only took... Oh God, that's bright. That only took like five tries, maybe more. I don't know, I lost count. It took me two tries to back in and only one try or five tries to pull it out. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed at myself, honestly. I'll be right back. Just kidding, I need the key. Just kidding, the key's on the trailer. All right. All right. You ready to hit the road, my dude? He's gonna come up and say hi, I think. Oh, no, you're just gonna put your head on the console ready to, ready to go let's hit the road first we're gonna make a pit stop play with his play with his buddies ronnie and teddy all right i'll be back with you in just a bit what's up dude what's up dude so i finally made it to camp Hoppers over there chewing on a stick. I'm warming up my dinner before it gets dark. Tonight I'm having chicken sloppy joes. So, got a fire going over there. Gonna enjoy some good sloppy joes. That's actually done. And uh, sit around the fire, sip some whiskey, have a good night. So, I'll catch you guys in a bit. buddy. Come here. So this spot isn't as secluded as I want. Hey buddy. But uh, it'll do. It's nice and quiet. But there's a group just down the hill from me. I thought I'd privacy is not the right word less people but it is a weekend I'm just going out for one night so that's not bad it's not bad I got the bell with me hey copper hey buddy so uh, it's a 
pretty. And then someone else's dog is barking over there. It's a pretty chill night with sitting by the fire and uh, hanging out. Hanging out. This is going to be a cold night tonight. Uh, it's in the low 40s right now. It's supposed to get down to about 30 tonight, overnight. So, got my dog here. You can go and keep me warm. It shouldn't be as bad as uh, Utah was. Utah, that was cold. That was really cold. Just sitting here with Copper by the fire right now. He's got his, his jacket on. He likes wearing it. He's a long-haired golden retriever, but he likes wearing his his jacket, so I put it on him any anytime it's not to the point where he'd get overheated. Um, and I've got this cool green, it's not a glow stick, it's like an LED ring so that uh, I can see him at night because he did just uh, wander into someone else's campsite. So, yeah, wanted to have some of their dinner, but they were cool about it, so. We're just uh, hanging out here. I'm sitting on the floor with him because he tried to get up in the camp chair with me and I I don't think that camp chair can support both of us. So, from the Walmart specials, so. Say hi, puppy. All I can see is your collar. Hey, buddy. Good time, huh? So, yeah. It's, uh... About 5:30 right now, I think. The sun just set a little, maybe 15 minutes ago. Looks like we'll have a good view of sunrise in the morning. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hey, what are you doing? It's about uh, 7 o'clock right now, I think. Stay here, buddy. It's about 7 o'clock right now. Just sitting by the fire with copper. Staying warm. As soon as it dies down, I'm out of firewood, so I can crawl up in the tent and watch some of the movie. Well, I gotta figure out how to get him in the tent first. Should just uh, be able to pick him up, but I gotta actually be able to do that. <laughs> so, um, gonna crawl up in the tent and watch a bit of a movie on my iPad and just hang out with Copper for a bit and then and call it a night. And then it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to start raining around 8.30 tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna get up early and, well, allegedly, that's the plan at least. I'm gonna get up early and uh, try and pack up camp pretty quick so I can uh, get back on the road and head back home. Just doing one night here, so and get back home and watch the Steeler game. So I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. All right, so I got Copper up in the bed. He's uh, making himself comfortable. Or up in the tent, rather. That was harder than I thought it would be. I gotta build some kind of staircase for him because that is not gonna be doable for a uh, long-term road trip, which is... Uh, what I brought him out here for was to kind of do a shakedown and see how he'd do. All right, so it's probably about 7.45 or 8 o'clock now, I think. I mean, Copper up in bed. He's doing good. So I'm going to have to figure out some kind of staircase thing for him because yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get him out of here in the morning. Guess we'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But he's doing good right now. Yep. So am I. So I ended a little bit at my plans. Um, in that last clip. Should get everything good in here. Hang on one second. I just want to make sure my uh, 
when my flaps were shut. Yeah, so I hinted earlier at my plan, and it's not official yet, but um, tomorrow at some point, uh, when it's not dark and not some creepy floating head with a black shirt and a uh, floating hand here, I'll talk more about what uh, what my plan is. But for now, me and me and Copper are gonna just cuddle up, stay warm, and uh, watch a movie. I think we'll see. What do you think, Copper? Movie. He's, uh, he's pretty tired, I think. He had, he had fun sitting by the fire, but, uh, he's pretty pooped. So, it's been a big day for him. We went on a bit of a hike, explored a bunch of places. He's doing good. He loves being outside, so that wasn't a surprise to me. So, I will, uh, catch you guys in the morning. It's really windy out. It's about 4 a.m. It's been doing this all night long. I'm about to just pack up camp now and get the hell out of here, but we'll see. So, it's a uh, couple weeks later, actually. Um, this is the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And um, unfortunately, the wind um, was just really, really bad. Um, so after that clip you just saw, I woke up and got camp packed up really quickly because it was about to start raining. It did start it, like not even 10 minutes after I got done packing up camp and got back on the road on the trail. It was, it started pouring. So uh, I just didn't have time in all of that to uh, film anything, um, unfortunately. So I'm gonna hopefully get back out there next weekend and uh, go and explore more of George Washington National Forest. I scouted a couple places on my way down the, down the mountain. Found a couple like what, what looked like really, really promising secluded campsites that aren't on the side of the hill or on top of, um, on top of the mountain. Uh, so it's not as exposed to wind, so thankfully I'll get more sleep, um, hopefully, you know, uh, next time I go out. So, yeah, I will uh, catch you guys in the next video, hopefully this upcoming weekend. So, see ya.